Okay, so the day after my birthday, I got a call from St. Anthony, the nursing home that um, is doing my CNA training or providing me with my CNA training, I should say. And they told me that the training is going to start on June 6th. And she also told me that uh, the next day, or was this on my birthday? I don't know if, no, it was the day after my birthday. Um, yeah, the day after my birthday. And she said that the next day I needed to go get my physical done because in order to participate in the training, you have to have a physical, a lift test to make sure that you're able to lift 50 pounds and a drug test. Now, I said, okay, I scheduled the physical for the next day at 2 p.m. So Paul and I go to get my physical done and I was so sure that they were gonna do the drug test at the same time because they had me going to an occupational health center. Um, it's run by the same company that owns the nursing home and you know they do drug testing and um, different occupational health type things. They do physicals, um, TB testing, um, fitting for TB masks and things like that. They do all of that stuff. <clears throat> so the what I did was I have this water bottle. This is a liter. It holds a liter of water. And um, I filled it up before we left to go get my physical because like I said, I was sure that they were going to have me do the drug test at the same time. And um, I'm just like, okay, well, I'm gonna fill it up and on the way there, I'm gonna drink all this water so then I'm not gonna have any problem, you know, being able to pee for this drug test. And so I get in there, first of all, we had a hard time figuring out which office was actually the occupational health office because where the building where we had to go, it had like urgent care, different physician offices, labs, things like that in the same building. Um, it, I think it was also like a same day surgery center and things like that. But regardless, eventually we found where we were supposed to go. They had me fill out all of this paperwork, um, basically like a medical history, allergies, medications that you're on, if you've ever had any surgeries, things like that. And so I filled it out, gave it back to them, and then they realized that they forgot to give me one of the other forms. So they called me back up to the desk, gave me the form that I was supposed to be filling out, filled it out, brought it back to them. And at, by this time, I was to the point where I really had to go. Um, it was so bad. Like it, it was to that point where it was starting to hurt. You know, like if you've ever had to pee really bad, like it starts to hurt. Like you just feel that your bladder hurts. And they brought me in there they brought me into the room where they actually do the drug testing, but the only reason she brought me in there was to get my height and my weight for the physical. And then she brought me into a, like a normal doctor exam room, had me sit on the table and took like my vitals and things like that. And she told me, um, this was a medical assistant at this time. And she told me that the doctor would be in. And then this woman did the most horrible thing. She said, would you like a glass of water? So I'm sitting here at this point, I'm like rocking back and forth on this exam table because that's how bad that I had to go. I'm like, oh my God, this doctor needs to hurry up so I can get this done with and I can do this drug test because still this whole time I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to have to do the drug test at the same time. And I was ready because I just wanted to get it over with, you know? Um, because I've, I've gone, when I worked for Walmart in the past, um, you know, they've sent me to go get the drug testing on the same day that I had the interview, which is usually how a lot of jobs do it. Um, if they're going to offer you a position, they do it that way. Um, and, you know, I've had a hard time going to the bathroom, you know, because I wasn't expecting to take a drug test. So, you know, I hadn't been drinking a whole lot of anything. Um, and so I, I would have had to stay there for hours and you can't leave the, 
testing site because if you do, then that's automatically considered a refusal to test and so you fail, um, at which point if you fail, then they rescind any offer of employment or anything. Um, but the doctor comes in and basically all she had me do was like a random ass workout. Like she told me to turn my head this way, turn my head this way, chin down, chin up. She had me do like a few squats and she had me like turn my upper body while keeping my hips straight forward. And then she had me like bend over and touch my toes and things like that. And it was just like a normal physical. And then she's like, well, everything looks good. And I'll get this, you know, the physical form faxed over to the nursing home and good luck. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, don't I have to take a drug test? And they're like, go sit in the waiting room and we will, you know, let you know if you're good to go or if there's anything else that you need to do. And so I sat down in the waiting room and, you know, it was maybe five minutes and they call me up to the desk and they're like, you're good to go. We're going to get it all faxed over and everything. And I'm like, this whole time I drank almost an entire liter of water, had to pee, you know, when the doctor was pushing on my stomach, you know, because like when they're doing a physical, they feel for like irregularities and lumps and all of that stuff on your stomach and you know like lymph nodes and things and she pushed like directly on my bladder and I swear to you I kid you not I almost peed myself <laughs> if I would have not had just a little a little less bladder control and I would have peed on myself it was it was terrible and like I kind of jerked away from it a little bit and she's like oh did that hurt and I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I didn't want to tell her that, you know, I almost peed on you. But <laughs> anyways, um, I thought that I would share that little funny story time of my physical and drug test, which ended up just being a physical and no drug test. But um, let me know if you guys have any funny stories about physicals that you've had to do for your job or for school. And, you know. I guess I will see you guys again soon.